Seven o'clock in the morning, the test track in the dawn fog. The security precautions here are extremely strict. No cameras, no mobile phones. The new Q7 is delivered. A production vehicle that will be put through its paces here. The Ingolstadt Corrosion and Aging Test, INCA for short, ranks as really tough. Here, a model already on the market has to prove how well it can stand up to practice. The results then flow back into the current mass production of the vehicles and assist with the development of future models. In 19 weeks, the Q7 will experience extreme situations here and also age rapidly, by 12 years. Heiko Pries is head of car body materials technology. Together, he and his employees have more than 100 years of experience in torturing vehicles. Scratches are simulated. How much rust will they develop during the course of the test? The Q7 is subjected to some really brutal treatment. When you know what the cars look like at the end of the test, it's quite an effort to actually destroy these new vehicles with a knife. Since 1976, all Audi models have undergone the Inca test, and the test methods are constantly evolving. Specially tailored to the Q7, there's the new VAT drive through we're now here at the VAT drive through The requirement for the new Q7 is half a metre of water to drive through. We have to test that, so we're filling up the pool. At walking speed, the Q7 travels through more than 75,000 litres of water up to half a metre high, triggering quite a bow wave in the process. But no water has penetrated the vehicle interior. Next, it has to drive through a pool of mud containing various road salts, dust and pollen. This is where it gets really dirty. Then it has to travel along really rough surfaces like bumpy tracks and gravel roads. We've had the Q7 in the water and the mud and now we're on the rough track so we can bombard it with stones. And all at a speed of up to 70 kilometers per hour. For about 40 years, all models at Audi have had to endure the Inca test. In various climatic chambers, extreme weather conditions are simulated, from continuous rain to icy cold and tropical heat. The heat in the Sahara, that's something very different from the cold in the far north, and in all those regions, we sell our vehicles. At the end of the day, the Q7 is also driven into a climate chamber. Here, it gets exposed to temperatures of up to 60 degrees. For today, it's mastered all the torture very well. On the outside, apart from a bit of dirt, there's no trace of all the stress. But the next day, everything starts over again from scratch. After 19 weeks, the Q7 will be completely dismantled into its individual parts. Only then is it really possible to see exactly how well it's withstood the toughest test at Audi.